Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods, and we are doing the monthly reading for the sign of Aquarius, my Aqua babies. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May. Yes, I am fairly late for the month of May. However, there were some things that I had to address, but I have all the intention to finish all my monthly readings despite the fact that they are a little bit late so i am sorry and i thank you for your understanding my aquas we are going to look into the general vibe in the center of the spread on the right we are going to see how we are doing on uh, the money and career front and on the left we'll see the love and romance side of life how that is going on if you are here for the first time welcome aboard welcome to my channel and if you've been kind enough to come back thank you thank you thank you welcome back one more shuffle aquas and we are ready yes all right there you go let us get going for my whoa look at you aquas gods want to talk standing in the king of wands energy there's something you have set your eyes upon a goal a target and you are very much determined to get it what's been our focus spirit what's in our focus for my aquas for the month of may Tower in the reverse and the moon. There have been something that had been kind of shaky and we are trying to turn it around. This could have been losses of whatever kinds in life, personal, professional, emotional, losing relationships, losing people in life, losing jobs, losing projects, business, bankruptcy, all of that. And that has left us in the blues. But what we are now trying to do is come on the surface and turn things around and start constructing the new tower for ourselves. And that we are very determined for. The past energy for my aquas, past energy for my aquas, the sun lovely energy there's a lot of fire here we have really been working very very optimistically towards whatever this new target that we have set ourselves for ace of pentacles look at that i'm telling you for some who have had that loss in their business or some sort of loss in their job we are setting our eyes on a new target that is gonna bring in mullahs that could be a project that could be a new job that could be something that you want to start on your own something that has a lot of potential and you have worked on this that those roots that i see is reminding me of the seven of pentacles so you've done your homework it's not that you know you are just coming up with whatever ideas like let's try this no 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 no, no. you have worked through this yep and where are we moving forward too many too many where are we moving forward with that six of cups going back in time going back in time i hear um back in time with harmony probably we would be able to click the harmony that we felt in the past we'll clarify this yes very interesting empress and ooh, good cards there empress and judgment with whatever that is and for the money and career spirit what do we have for money and career for my aquas okay yeah there is some kind of a setback that i feel for you guys that had happened okay overall the devil we are ambitious yes ambition is running through our veins with that king of wands in the current energy along with overall as devil i really feel that we are very much focused on our target feeling extremely ambitious really sticking to our goals and our eyes on the target we are going for it that's a very go-getter energy that's not just sitting and thinking about it that's like yeah 
What's the plan of action? What's the SOPs? Let's do it. The five of swords. Let me get some more. The hangman. There is some kind of a clash there. There's one part of you that's saying, let's go do it. And there's one part of you that is like, hang on for a moment. Should we think about it a little more? Hmm. Do not let your ambition blind you, I hear. Okay. The moon and the tower in the reverse as the focus spirit. What is that what we are trying to rebuild? What is it that is making my aquas? Six of swords. You just want peace. You want to move towards peaceful times. Simple as that. You are done with the conflict and probably that is the reason why we have five of swords because you're like, is this the right way to go about it? I mean, sure, ambition is there, but are we hurrying up in some ways? Six of swords there. Yeah, we are trying to make peace with the past. We are trying to make peace with whatever has happened, how we have felt. We have been, you know, kind of down and loaded with our emotions really hitting the bottom and working things through now trying to raise our vibration our frequency and trying to come up because all we want is to just move move towards karma waters we need peace in life that's what we have been focused upon the sun in the past looks absolutely fantastic lots of hope i see here more than joy and happiness, I see hope. I see hope. Ten of cups, look at that. Whatever this ace of pentacles is, it seems like, you know, the hope of making it back again to the harmony that we felt, the abundance that we had in the past is what I feel this whole circle. This is like a, a complete circuit back in that comfortable spot in that content zone that you were in the past before this tower moment happened lovely ace of pentacles in the crowning position we have the temperance and the four of pentacles we are working on our stability there is some sort of balance that we are trying to bring about and probably this whatever new target that we have set for ourselves is all about bringing in not just the materialistic stability but also the harmony in life the love and the content and the fulfillment and the abundance that we had felt in the past and that i feel is the reason why we have this conflict because the ambition says go 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 the heart says but do we really want to do this the this same way of go 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 because maybe there's something that we need to do when it comes to our way of going about this target mm. six of cups in the future energy in the near future why do we have the six of cups somebody coming from the past it's in the near future ace of swords some clarity coming in there is a new beginning that is very 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 clear the six of cups i feel is this past hope that's coming in there has been a lot of hope that has come into the scene with this new potential that has come in and you are getting that clarity spirit could you give me a little more on this six of cups in the near future please too many i see the nine of cups by the way that's dreams coming true. That's fulfillment. That's the Ten of Cups that you have been thinking about. Queen of Cups. Yeah, there is a lot of fulfillment that I feel here. There is a lot of creativity coming from the heart. There is a lot of balance of emotions coming in. There is a lot of love and compassion also that's entering life. There is a sense of purpose and that sense of purpose is not coming only from the headspace like this hangman. You are finally able to connect those two, the heart 
and the mind like i see here moving immediately to the love and romance side this feels more like self-love actually you have that unconditional compassion for yourself and those around you there has been a lot of soul searching that's been going on and i feel with that hangman and in the future the queen of cups the amalgamation of feminine and masculine energy coming in the patience with purpose coming in the love with self-awareness coming in let me see what more is there five of wands in the world yeah you shut the doors for whatever this clash was this is truly loving yourself again opening a door to a new world which is full with love hope passion compassion balance that is what i feel let us see let's clarify the moon again the moon showing up again yeah this is reconnecting back with your emotions feeling them bringing in balance look letting go of that sense of lack that we felt that five of wands five of pentacles and bringing in balance back in life six of pentacles this could be a sudden proposal coming in some kind of a sudden doors opening up for you there is some sense of balance that's coming in i see temperance here as well along with that six of pentacles and the world a new world a new cycle that you want to start aquas that has love maturity and compassion in it there is a lot of maturity also coming in a lot of clarity coming in let us see look six of pentacles coming in again i'm telling you this has got to do something with your mullahs as well that ace of pentacles this is success coming your way whatever has happened in the past we have five of wands five of pentacles five of cups five 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 we have another five right here with the five of swords we have all fives and this is all to do with transformation whatever has happened so far with that tower card i truly feel that there has been a very strong ground shaking event tower moment that has happened in your life that has brought a lot of pain a lot of grief conflict clashes all of that i understand that however it seems like this pandora box had to be open for you to clean up the worms and when you are doing that you are bringing in a lot of harmony and peace in your life and stability there's page of cups new opportunities are coming your way new ideas are coming your way you are opening up your heart space i see that queen of cups again in the future clearly there are more proposals coming in and i see right here you know the cup with the flying pig right there you know in german if somebody had good luck we say er hat schwein gehabt that means you know you got really lucky and with the queen of pentacles i mean a lot of fulfillment i see here a lot of contentment i see here a lot of money and wealth and abundance coming your way from that ace of pentacles that you have set your eyes on going all the way to the queen of pentacles yeah you are coming out of this stuck energy that's for sure i see devil and right here i see temperance again and i see temperance right there ambition needs to be balanced with compassion that is very clear and that is the reason i feel hangman energy is there along with devil and the king of wands so be compassionate to those around you and for yourself as well don't push yourself too hard when it comes to ambition no healthy boundaries set healthy boundaries for your own self get some good sleep do not go crazy like you know sometimes it happens three nights just going doing work 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 gotta finish this project gotta finish this homework gotta finish this documentation fourth day you fall sick you cannot go so let's not do that let's start a new brand new world with balance with compassion with love with transparency with peace let us get you an oracle guidance message to wrap up this reading for you aquas we are using the sacred forest oracle deck for the monthlies this time around spirit for okay we have it we have it 
transmutation phoenix rising up from your ashes that tower moment in the reverse i'm taken to yes you are rising up you are coming on the surface been long you have been underneath but you are coming out you are seeking peace you are coming out stronger learning the lessons and coming out stronger let us read this 29 comes to 11 your life is changing perhaps in ways that you didn't expect but it is wildly wonderful transmutation is the act of changing from one state of being or one element into another the phoenix is legendary for his transmutation in fire in the flames he is reborn leaving behind his old and tired self to become a passionate wild and free bird that fire that king of wands right there that is what i feel there you are standing very much so something that you might have thought would never change is changing into something amazing it's not an ending rather it is a bright shiny new beginning the sun in the past a lot of hope as i said a new beginning is coming up situations that seemed lackluster are transmuting into fabulous opportunities i mean every lit single word we have a card here for that i mean amazing that is thank you spirit for reconfirming everything that's been said here that ace of pentacles and the ace of swords right there release expectation and limited thinking for things are not as they seem the spirit of phoenix says a big change is at hand in your life what feels like an ending is really a beginning rising out of the flames and ashes you are entering a new cycle the world right here even if life seems murky in areas this is only the clearing before the rebirth hang in there the best is yet to come hang in there aquas the best is yet to come and on that note i'm gonna take your leave i thank you all for joining me it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods